Hi all, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss in medical surgical nursing, gentle urinary system, renal abscess. See, we had discussed about renal cyst, right? The same small unit is renal abscess. So when I say abscess, abscess is pus formation. Simple renal abscess means pus formation in the kidney. Okay, I hope you understood the uh, definition. So we'll see the etiology. See, etiology is mainly due to bacterial infection. Okay, that bacteria, uh, E. coli bacteria. Okay, E. coli bacterial infection in ureter, bladder, urethra. Okay, when this infection is exceeded, it affects the uh, pus formation in the kidney. Okay, so what are the risk factors? It can be occurring in pregnant women, okay, diabetic mellitus patients, okay, elderly patients, the person who is having uh, CKD, CKD means chronic kidney disease, okay, or a person who had a kidney transplant, okay, then we can be usually seen in hospital acquired urinary infection. When I said hospital acquired, you will be knowing it, right? Hope you remember first year. So that was all about the risk factor. Clinical manifestation, the person will be having abdominal pain, okay, lower abdominal pain as well as the flank region pain, okay. And loss of appetite, hematuria, dysuria, pyuria. Pyuria is the main because pus in urine, because pus in kidney. Tachycardia will be there for the patient, hypotension and also the person will be a little bit pale, okay. Pale skin will be present for the patient. Now moving on to the diagnostic evaluation, person will be having a uh, history collection, physical examination can be done, CT, MRI, okay. Uh, then urine analysis, blood test will be done for the patient. As a blood test, we will be doing RFT, okay. Moving on to the management, medical management or pharmacological management is like, as we know, we have discussed in the etiology that it is because of a bacteria. So we will be giving antibiotics, okay. For example, antibiotics specifically will be giving broad spectrum antibiotics okay so in that example i can say cephalosporin okay and then aminoglycerides will be given example gentamicin okay then symptomatic treatment for the patient as the person is having pain the person is having um fever tachycardia okay as per the person's signs and symptoms we will be giving the treatment surgical management will be done because it is pus right pus is filled in the kidney so either we can drain it Okay, draining will be done for the, uh, this one from the kidney. So, draining can be done when uh, about uh, when it is open. Draining is done usually when it is open. So, I'll just tell you a simple tech. Okay, a simple tip. Any word ending with Tommy. T-O-M-Y. That means it is opening. Okay, tracheotomy. Nephrotomy. Okay. Uh, uh, then pharyngo tummy. Mm, I don't remember. Okay, uh, the, any word ending with Tommy, that is, um, you can say it is a, just an opening. Okay, it's a opening. Any word ending with ectomy, e c t o m y, that means it is removal. Okay, ectomy removal. Okay, splenectomy, uh, nephrectomy. Okay few words you can only search okay actually you, you might be discussed uh, last year and all you will be hearing all this word no so any word ending with ectomy means it's a removal okay either partially or either fully that depends upon the surgery okay or it depends upon the condition so any word ending with otomy means it is opening okay so when it will be open okay then the pus will be drained out fine so this was all about renal Apsis. So, renal abscess means it's a pus formation present in the kidney due to an E. coli bacterial infection. Either it should be in the ureter, bladder or urethra. Okay. When it is complicating, it can affect pus developed in the kidney. Risk factors, diabetic mellitus, pregnant women, okay, hospital acquired uh, uh, urine infection. CKD patient, kidney transplant patient, etc. Cl uh, clinical manifestation, abdominal pain will be there for the patient. Hematuria, pyuria, dysuria will be there for the patient. Okay. Then hypotension, tachycardia will be there present for the patient. Diagnostic evaluation, mainly urine test, blood test, urine culture, MRI CT. Okay. 
then management as it is a bacterial uh, infection antibiotics will be given okay aminoglycerides sim uh, symptomatic treatments surgical management we can drain the pus from the kidney by doing an opening nephrectomy okay so i hope you understood the small unit thank you take care